hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Dee and today I'll be taking you through on how to make this cover-up dress uh, the inspiration for this dress came from Pinterest I'm sure most of you have seen it um, I made I used the treble double crochet stitch but you can use any stitch you like it can be the double crochet stitch yeah it will also work the dress is made from the bottom we're going to start by making two identical panels like this from this point to where the slit stops at we started with 20 rows but you can make yours longer if you want to but to do that you'll have to make more 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 rows sorry you'll need to make more rows than this and then join once you see that you have enough space that you needed for the slit so yeah we're going to start with the two identical panels and then we'll join them together and then start working in rounds until we get to the part where we want our sleeves to start from and from here we shall separate it again and work on two sides separately and then we'll join here around the shoulders and I'll be showing you how to do that so the materials you'll need a 5.0 millimeter hook you'll need some scissors a darning needle and you're going to need two stitch markers so let's get started the yarn I'm using is called Robin. It's 100% acrylic and it's only 50 grams. Uh, I'm going to be doubling my strands for this because it's uh, very thin, so that's why I'm going to be doubling it. So, for the measurements, you're going to need your hip measurement or your or you're going to measure the biggest part of your body so if your chest is bigger than your hips I recommend that you take the measurement for that part my chain is 140 so I'm going to divide it by 2 and that will give me 70 okay so I'm going to make a chain of 70 make a loop Insert your hook and make 70 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go ahead and make the chain of 70 and I'll meet you back once you are done with that. I'm done with my 70 stitches as you can see. So next, you're going to count 6 stitches. You're going to count you're not counting this on the hook count this next one that's one two three four five six and in the seventh one you're going to place that a treble so you're going to yarn over twice and make a treble into the seventh stitch so insert your hook pull up a loop and you're going to have four loops on your hook you're going to pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two of your hook like that then you're going to count you're going to chain eight that's one two three four five six seven eight yarn over twice skip eight So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and into the ninth stitch, you're going to make a shell there. This is the ninth one. Insert your hook, make your first treble like that. Yarn over twice again, back in that same space make a treble chain two yarn over twice back in that same space make 
your last two trebles. And there you have completed your first shell of trebles. Next, you're going to chain eight. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to make a treble into the ninth chain. Okay, so you're going to count one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And into the ninth, we're going to make a shell. So yarn over twice and insert your hook into the ninth stitch. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through the last two. Yarn over twice again in that same space. Make a treble. Like that. Chain two, two more trebles into that same space to complete your shell. That's how your work should be looking at this point. Chain eight, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and skip nine then make a shell into the ninth stitch skip one two three four five six seven eight make a treble into the ninth yarn over twice back in that same space make a treble chain two Yarn over twice, make two more trebles into that same space. And this is what you have to repeat until you get to the end here. Remember, you're chaining eight skipping eight and making a shell into the ninth stitch so repeat that same pattern until you get to until you have this last chain left and i'll show you what to do there here we are and this is how my work is looking so far and here i have already chained eight I have chained eight here and I'm going to yarn over twice and count eight. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have one stitch left and you're going to yarn over twice and into that very last stitch. That's where you're going to place your first treble. Don't worry about it if you don't end up with, um, depending on the number you've got, don't worry if you don't end up with the exact number that you're supposed to, to skip. Yeah, no one is gonna know. All right, once you have done, once you're done with your first treble here on the last stitch, you're going to chain two. Oh, I'm sorry. Once you're done with the treble, you're going to yarn over twice and in that same space, make a treble. Pull through two, pull through two and pull through the last two. And that marks the end of our first row. So the second row is what we're going to be repeating. Chain one, two, three, four, five. And this chain of five is going to count as our first treble. So chain five and turn your work. Yarn over twice. 
and then you're going to make a treble on top of this next treble pull through two pull through two and pull through the last two and that's what you will have chain eight yarn over twice and make a shell in the chain two space okay you're going to make a shell between these two trebles There you have it. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yarn over twice and make a shell in the chain two space. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yarn over twice, and make a shell in the next chain two space. And you're going to repeat that until you have this space left so let me meet you back once you are on this shell once you get to the end as you can see we have only this um, space left I have already chained eight here yarn over twice and make a treble on top of this next treble here so insert your hook and make a treble yarn over twice and you're going to make a treble on top of the it can be on top of the chain or here in between just in case your chain is too tight for your hook to go through it so I'm going to make a treble on top of my chain and that will mark the end of our second row so this row we just completed is what we're going to repeat for the next 20 rows okay so i'm going to show you one more time on how to do this so here to start your third row you're going to chain up five turn your work yarn over twice and make a treble on top of this next treble right here chain eight and make a shell in the next chain two space which is this one between the two between the four uh, stitches so chain eight yarn over twice and make your shell in the next chain to space chain two yarn over twice make your last two trebles in the same space chain eight yarn over twice and make a, a shell in the next chain to space chain 
chain eight. Yarn over twice and make a shell in the next chain two space. what you are going to repeat so this is pretty simple guys all you have to do is do what you did on the previous row like chain eight and make a shell in the next chain to space the only difference is here at the end where you have to make a treble um, on the on this stitch and another a second treble on top of the chain all in between whatever works for you, whatever is easy for you when it comes to this end here. It doesn't matter, so yeah. You're going to keep repeating that until you have 20 rows. Okay, so go ahead and make this first one. And you're going to make a second piece as well because we need two of them. Uh, and from there, I'll be showing you what to do. So just continue doing the same thing and I'll meet you back once you have 20 rows completed. Here we are, I completed my 20 rows and you should be having the same and you're going to make a second panel, an identical panel and we are now going to join these two together. So the wrong sides are facing each, each other, the right sides are the one on, is the one on top and at the bottom. So if you want your split, if you want your slit to be longer than this, you'll have to make more rows before joining this part. Okay, so you can make maybe 30 rows or 40, depending on how long you want it to be, on how long you want your split to be. So next we're going to join these two corners. You're going to chain one. Here I'm using the strand that was left on the other panel chain one and slip stitch to chain chain one and pull tight and voila there you're done with the joining of this side so our yarn is still attached on this other side and we are going to use that to chain this part and from there we're going to be working in rounds so you're going to chain one here as well and we join it just the same way we joined the other part so you're going to chain one and slip stitch to chain like that and there you are done joining the whole two pieces so next we're going to be working in rounds like I said earlier So you're going to chain five and turn your work. There I have already chained one, so I'm going to add four more chains to make it to five. Okay, so add four more chains. Or if, or if you already chained five, that's totally fine. So that chain is counting as our first treble. And you're going to yarn over twice and into that space you're going to make a treble chain two yarn over twice make two more trebles into that same space 
and at the end of that you will have created your first shell in rounds there you go that's our first shell for this row that we have started which is the 21st row if we are to count the 20 rows that we started with okay so we're going to continue with our work from here you're going to chain eight and make a shell in the next chain two space one two three four five six seven eight yarn over twice and make a shell in the next chain to space There you have completed that shell. So the only difference now is that we are working in rounds, but we're still doing the same exact thing we've been doing. Like it's the same pattern, but this time being worked in rounds. So chain eight, make a shell into the next chain two space. Alright, so that's what you're going to repeat. Keep doing that and I'll meet you here at the other corner, like where we joined from. So here we are, I have already chained 8 and into that space we are going to make a shell. So yarn over twice and make a shell into that space. You just go direct. Chain two and make your last two trebles into the same space. That's how it should look. Chain eight. And make a shell into the next chain to space. Chain 8, make a shell into the next chain to space. There you have it. And you're going to keep repeating that pattern until you get to to the end here where we started off from to this split here we are at the end of our first row in rounds here I have chained eight so we're going to slip stitch to chain so you're going to go between the chain and the treble 
and make a slip stitch then slip stitch on top of the next treble so right now we are working our way into the middle of this next shell we want to be in the center slip stitch in the chain two space chain one slip stitch one more time into that same space like that and then you're going to chain five to start our row turn your work now we're going to work in rounds everything is now easy so yarn over twice and make uh, your first treble in that space chain two and complete with your last two trebles all in that same space chain eight yarn over twice make a shell into the next chain two space and you're going to repeat that pattern until you get back to the end To end the row you're going to chain 8 and slip stitch between the treble and the first chain that you have here then slip stitch on top of the next treble slip stitch in the next chain to space chain one slip stitch one more time into that same space and then you're going to chain five and turn your work yarn over twice make a shell into that first space it chain eight make a shell in the next chain to space so basically that's what you have to repeat you're going to keep working in rounds chain eight make a shell in the chain two space and when you get to the end you slip stitch between the between the chain and the next treble yeah until you have 35 rows 35 rows is what you need to make from here and I'll meet you back here shortly all right guys I'm back after completing my 35 rows 35 is from where we joined from from where we joined our two panels from up to where we are those are 35 rows so plus the 20 rows that we started with for the panels at the moment my whole dress is 55 rows 
So the next thing now we're going to do is creating our armholes and creating the neck hole. To do that, you're going to need some stitch markers. You need, you need two of them. And you're going to mark that row. Like the, the same row we joined our split. Up. You're going to mark that row because it's the same row that's going to um, have the armholes. Okay. So mark it and mark the second side. Okay. So now you have marked the two sides where your, your armholes are going to start from. So from here we are going to work separately. We're going to work on the front and then work on the back part separately. Okay, so we still have our yarn attached here and this is where we have our stitch marker. take it out this was just to show you guys so like I said we're now going to work on each panel separately so we're going to work from one stitch marker to another so this is where mine starts and we have the slip stitch here That is what we have been doing to start our next row so you're going to chain up five that's one two three four five turn your work yarn over twice make a treble in that same space and that's all you're going to do in this first space that we have chain eight one, two, no, I'm sorry, you're going to chain four here. From this point, we're chaining four. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over twice and make a shell into the next space. the shell chain eight that's three four five six seven eight yarn over twice make a shell into the next chain to space And you're going to do this until you have only the stitch marker space left. Chain eight, yarn over twice, and let's meet at the end. Once you have only the stitch marker space left, yeah, let's meet there. Okay, I'm now um, about to end my row. As you can see, this is my stitch marker right here. So what we're going to do here is the same thing that we did here at the beginning. We chained four after making uh, this treble, these two trebles. So that's what we're going to do here. So you're going to chain four, yarn over twice, and place two trebles into the chain two space where you have your stitch marker. And that's it. 
so what we're doing here is the same thing we did when working on the two panels separately at the beginning of this tutorial so that's what we are doing here and we're going to repeat that for the next um, four rows depending on how you want on how long you want your armholes to be so once you have ended the row here you're going to chain five yarn over twice and turn your work and you're going to make a treble on top of the next treble chain up four yarn over twice and make a shell into the next chain to space Chain 8, yarn over twice, make a shell into the next chain to space. Chain 8. Yarn over twice, make a shell into the next chain to space, and you're going to do this all the way to until you have the last space left. Okay, now we're back here. You're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over twice. Make a treble on top of the next treble. Yarn over twice and make a treble between the two stitches or on top of the chain. And there you have completed the second row for our armholes. You're going to do that um, three more times and I'll meet you back once you are done with that and I'll show you what to do next. So as you can see I ended up making six rows for the armholes here. We have six rows from this point. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we need to create that part for the armholes and then rather the shoulder part for both sides okay so now we're going to be working on this this one two three so we'll be working on this part and we are counting one two three on this side as well so we're going to work on this and this separately and then we're going to leave this middle part because that's the part that goes uh, around the neck. I hope you understand. I will just attach a picture so you can see what I mean. So yeah, that's the part we are working on. So now I still have my yarn attached. So I'm going to be working from this point to this point. And then I'll turn my work and come back to this side and continue like that for the next two or three rows okay one two three four five yarn over twice one two three four Actually, when you get to this point, you'll be chaining two, okay? So after making this treble, you're going to chain two, yarn over twice, and make a shell into the next chain two space.
like that chain 8 that's 3 4 5 6 7 8 yarn over twice and make your last shell here So once you're done with that, that's the that's going to be the last space you walk into. Chain five. Turn your work. Yarn over twice and make a shell into this next space. So now we have got this one extra. Uh, stitch or chain at the beginning and that's okay just ignore it chain 8 make a shell Then chain two. Remember here we're chaining two. Yarn over twice. Make a treble on top of the next treble. Yarn over twice and make your last treble. Chain five. Turn your work. And so far, this is how our work is looking. We've made these two, so we're going to make the last one for this um, side. Chain two and make a shell. Chain eight, yarn over twice, see. You're going to yarn over twice and you're going to make your last stitch between this um, extra stitch that we added here so go direct and make a treble on top of it like that chain one cut off the yarn and attach it on this other side because now we're going to work on this just like what we've done here for the next three rows and when doing this you have to consider your armholes make sure you stop when you see that you have enough space for your armholes I might have made mine smaller and you need a bigger space so please keep that in mind so I'm going to cut my yarn Pull this tight. Okay, and now, like I said, we're leaving these two out of work, and we are, we are going to work on this. So you're going to reattach your yarn.
chain five one two three four five yarn over twice make a shell chain eight yarn over twice and make a shell chain two yarn over twice make a treble on top of the next treble and then make your last treble chain five turn your work turn your work and make a treble rather chain yeah chain five turn your work and make a treble on top of the next treble Chain two, make a shell into the next chain to space. Chain up eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Then we're going to make the the last row. Two, three, four, five. Turn your work. Yarn over twice and make a shell into the chain two space. Chain eight, yarn over twice, make a shell into the next chain two space. Chain up two, messed up a little here. Chain two and end the row with two trebles. And there you have it. So what we have done is leave this space here for our neck then this is going to be the part that goes over the shoulders so we're going to do a, the exact same thing we did here on the second panel on the back or front panel but, but they're all the same so you're going to go ahead and do that i'm going to do the same thing you're going to first make six rows and then work on the shoulder part making three rows or four rows depending on how long you want your armholes to be yeah so I'll go ahead and work on mine 
and then I'll be back and show you guys how to join so you're going to start from from the same space where we started this side from in this same space where you have your stitch marker that's where you're going to start the back panel from so this is what I have guys I went ahead and completed both sides as you can see here I added three rows just like I did here one two three and then joined it together here and I'm going to show you how I did it on this um, other side and then you can go ahead and join yours as well so once you have completed both panels they're going to be on the same level okay so next you're going to insert your hook in that loop and you're going to insert your hook in this space here So, and remember to join uh, from the wrong side and then you're going to go into the next treble of the one panel I will zoom in a little and again and then go through the back panel just go on top of the insert your hook on top of the treble and slip stitch Insert your hook into the next treble for the first panel and into the second panel and slip stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into the chain two spaces for both panels like that then slip stitch on top of the next treble for both sides as you're seeing in the video And slip stitch okay so when you get here on the chain you're going to chain eight one two three four five six seven eight and then you're going to slip stitch on top of the next treble for both sides that slip stitch slip stitch in the chain to space and slip stitch on top of the next two trebles for both sides and basically that's all you had to do here slip stitch on top of the next trebles then slip stitch between the last chains for both sides chain one and then you can cut off the yarn pull tight and there you have joined And there you're done joining your sleeve that this is the wrong side and this is how the right side looks and that's it I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think and I'll see you in my next one